When I walked on for the first time, I couldn't breathe. I was like, oh, it was so bad. I mean, the funk hit you like, boom. You know what I smelled? I smelled butt ass. Butt ass. Yeah, those BBLs be stinking. So you guys may have seen this online that BBL smells is trending. And there are a lot of reasons for that smell, but I think that I will tell you guys a story about a girl that I dated and uh, I took her out and she had had a BBL. Her body looked crazy good. Like she had it done right. Her whole body looked amazing. So we linked up and we went out, had a really good time. We went to a Lakers game and then went to a spot by LA Live and had some dinner, had a really good time. And so she was like, so what you trying to do? I was like, yeah, let's go back to my place and relax, have a nightcap and see where it takes us. So we drive back to my spot. And so light the candles, get the music going, open up a bottle of champagne and we sitting there and we having a nice vibe. And, um, you know, we start getting into it and everything and clothes start to come off. And she wanted to give me a little show. So she was like, just stand right there. And so like, she took off everything very seductively and got on my bed and started twerking that thing, right? And I was like, what the hell? Because at this point, she got nothing on. And I smell this smell and it hits my nose. Shit was like a, a salt of my nose. I'm like, what the hell? And so I'm like, uh, baby, uh, not to be rude, but I know we had a long day. Um, you're not smelling that fresh down there. I think you guys, I think you need to get into the shower and uh, go ahead and uh, freshen up. And she looked at me so embarrassed. I did it as gently as I could. But what I realized is if someone has had a normal size behind for all of their life and then they switch up and now they got this big BBL, they they have to reach back there and really clean. You know what I'm saying? And if they're not used to doing that, they might not know that, hey, you sweat differently everything is different when you add that much more meat back there that thing can't breathe as good and uh <laughs> so she ended up getting in the shower and everything i had everything that she needed and uh i ended up clapping them cheeks and it was much better but some people the smell i think her smell was coming from just not being able to get back there and clean properly but some people smell is coming from what the excretions and what's coming out with the fat that they've actually put in to their bodies. So, you know, BBLs for me, is just for fun. I, that's Those women are for fun. Like you can't take women with BBLs, in my opinion, the parent teacher conferences, they big old ass knocking over the little kids crayons and stuff as they try to walk through the parent teachers conferences in them small ass classrooms. That's not really for me. That's for fun. That's for, you know, weekend fun. You know, wifey material is just regular, natural women that you can build a family with and give a great life to. But that's one of my stories on BBLs. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. So that was quite a story right there from Good Buddy. Sounds like he used a lot of stuff that we typically hear online about these things. Now, there's a few takeaways that I'd like to bring to you guys here. So for a nightcap and see where the evening goes, I mean, if you're having a nightcap, you already know where the evening goes. So a big thing that I talk about on this channel is BBLs and hygiene. And I got a follow up video. I just want to let you guys know. So stick around where I think there's actually a surgeon or a doctor that talks about this. And we go even further in terms of the BBL and the fat transfer and necrosis and all this other stuff like that. But anyway, we're talking about women who already have a BBL that's healed. Everything's fully healed. There's no open cuts, wounds, none of that stuff. So you have women who just have poor hygiene in general. Their pH is off. They could eat terrible. They don't watch what they put in their body. They don't soak. They don't take baths. Now, a lot of women will come and say, well, JR, you're not supposed to take a bath. Bull crap. You're not supposed to. As far as soap goes, 
you find a soap that complements your body. You, sometimes you need to soak. You need to figure out what it is that's causing all this. Maybe it's because you're sleeping with a ton of men that's throwing off the entire thing there. But Buddy said, which I talked about this as well on another video. I can't remember the exact video about women who do smell. As a man, how do you tell her politely or gently as he said? When you just said like, yo, if that's the case, you just say, hey, let's go hop in the shower real quick. And if she asks why, I'd be like, yo, it's something about the shower, something about that heat. I want to be nice. And I know we had an evening. I like to be nice and fresh if we get into the business. And for some dudes, they'll be completely turned off and be like, yo, this is. But a lot of you horn dogs would go ahead and go ham Newton and do your thing. But anyway, let's get on to the next clip. Let's go. Yeah, those BBLs be stinking. BBL smell. The BBL smell is trending on social media, but what is it? And it could be like two or three BBL baddies, and you wondering like, look, like, who the hell got cheesy fries? You know, like who got their socks out? You know, something, something don't smell right. So why would getting a BBL make you potentially smell bad? There are a lot of theories being thrown out there. When women have liposuctions and BBLs, about three weeks later all the way up to three weeks later they have excretions actually grease that comes out of their body and it has a putrid smell it's normal to get a little bit of drainage from having liposuction or bbl for a few days after surgery but putrid smell after three weeks tells me you've got an infection that is not normal when you get a bbl your ass is so rock hard like i could barely get toilet paper in like a hand between my butt cheeks what you gotta understand is like physics. If you was a chick that was like 150, right? 150 pounds, and then you got a BBL. So the BBL made you probably like 170, 180. You're not used to that go around. You feel me? So is the BBL smell fact or is it cap? It is cap. Now immediately after surgery, maybe you're a bit sore, maybe it's a little hard to clean back there, but otherwise there's nothing about having had a BBL surgery that's gonna make you smell bad. Yeah, once again, it goes back to the whole, <laughs> how you clean yourself, baby. Get you a bidet. If you can't afford a bidet, get you one of them handheld bidets. If you're not already using water, guys, I don't know, man. I've been using water in conjunction with toilet paper to dry off for like the past 12 years now. And there's nothing like it. This buddy talking about physics. You get a BBL, you gain 20 pounds, 20 pounds of fat from getting a BBL. Buddy's right. Anytime there's a putrid smell like that, you got some kind of infection going on that you need to get checked out. But fellas, let's get into, I think Buddy did a follow-up. We're going to get into what he was talking about on there, though. Let's go. Okay, this young lady said, y'all be saying anything. BBLs don't produce a smell. If somebody stinks, it's personal hygiene. That is completely false and untrue. As a matter of fact, you see one of the side effects of a BBL is fat necrosis, which produces an excretion of the fat that was put in, and it smells. Another lady in my comments confirms that she had a BBL and had to wait four months before she could do anything because of the excretions. You can also see doctors who have duetted and stitched my video and said that fat necrosis is a thing with BBLs, and it indeed smells. I want you guys to know something. When I do videos, I'm not just talking off the top of my head. I've done my research. I know what's going on. It could have been personal hygiene in this particular I issue that I'm talking about with the young lady that I was with. Or it could have been fat necrosis. I don't know which one. But I do know that when she got in the shower and sat in that bathtub, she came out smelling fresh. Therefore... I threw on that condom and I clapped those cheeks. That's how it is. So do your research. My man Cap it. He ain't throwing no condom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't do that. He didn't do that, man. But if a BBL is healed, guys, how can it? That's just like saying your arm stinks or your butt cheek stinks just for it being a butt cheek. No, the funk is coming from somewhere. It's coming from one of those openings right it's coming from one of those openings where, where things come out of and things go in very sick stuff going on here guys when i walked in that jail for the first time mm, you know what i smelled i smelled butt ass 
butt ass. It was so bad. I mean, the funk hit you like boom. I couldn't breathe. E. I was like, oh shit. And every day I come in, that butt ass hit you, bam. And now you're talking to another officer. Now all y'all got the butt ass breath. How you doing? How you doing? You don't smell that shit. And I asked one of the, the old time of the vets, yo, what's up with that smell? He said, don't worry, new Jack, you'll get used to it. It took me about, no bullshit, about six months before me to get used to that butt ass, son. Here, guys, I have dated one woman with a BBL. Well, I wouldn't say dated, I clapped the cheeks. But anyway, she was fine. Didn't have any issues, no nothing. It's just on a woman. You encounter some women who just don't have good hygiene. And I don't understand a lot of times how women don't know that the kitty is stinking sometimes or even the buns. But just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. It's your favorite everything. This is wisdom. Listen, I'm the best. And I'm not going to say it again, man. I'm out of here.